previously working for the Bristol Port Company. We've been employed by them to demolish Ford's Mill, which is one of the last three mills of this type they have on this site. The main challenge, as you will imagine, is the height. Coal conveyor, we have the dock, a working, working dock. In between the two is this uh, 40 plus metre structure. The challenge is to, broadly speaking, is to reach the top. The coal conveyor was a challenge for us. It runs from Portley Dock, which is the other side of the, the river. It's underneath the river, comes up at the end of the dock, passes the site. The conveyor has a system that runs intermittently, but it runs 24 7. It can't be interrupted, can't be stopped, um, and it's got to be protected the reason for the protection scaffold and the impact crash deck we've had to build on top. To date, we've uh, had no damage or no uh, break in operation. The machine we have here reaches 63 metres. It's a, a telescopic arm that uh, extends out to reach the top of the building. It weighs best part of 200 tonnes. It's an exceptional piece of kit. You can see today it's quite windy out here. Um, got your uh, risk assessment and method statements. There's a risk identified, excessive weather conditions. Winds are above force five on the Beaufort scale. You know, due to the risk and the nature of the work, we're probably gonna have to, to call it off today and then review when the, the wind speeds come back to a more uh, normal level. The project has gone, uh, to date it's gone very well. This is week five of the actual demolition. Uh, prior to that we had a three week build of the protection scaffold and while we were doing that we demolished a low level building that was attached to the side of the main bill. The plan now currently is to process building we've taken down to date. We intend the port have, have employed us to recycle, the port has a great recycling ethos all the concrete, all the reinforcement you're, you can see adjacent to the building now um, will be processed and uh, crushed by a mobile crushing plant to make aggregate that the port will use on site. Out of this whole building, out of this whole project, only items that will not be recycled are the conveyor elements of the building, the rubberized conveyor and the asbestos products. Once we get the area civilised and cleared up, the last section will be taken down working from uh, the conveyor, the coal conveyor back this way. You know, we, we, will, we will complete this work by Christmas is our plan, as our contract with the port. I can't foresee any real issues. To date the health and safety has been fine, no injuries, no accidents, not even a cut finger. Um, we've demolished the building right the way down to slab level up. We chewed it, chewed it all up. That's the last load of scrap over there to go today. And we've literally just finished crushing and we're just moving the crush down to the bottom end of the site. <laughs> 